Hello everybody, I'm James Quattro, and this week I've got the 2022 Ford F-150 XLT Black Appearance Package. here is very special to me. This one here is a truck that I actually personally ordered back in November and it is finally here. And I'm going to go over with you why this particular truck is nearly $70,000 in an XLT. And I'm going to show you why. Also, before we get in this video, if you can please like, subscribe, and ring the little bell that way you never miss a moment. I got lots of cool videos coming. I'm gonna do lots of smaller feature videos on this vehicle with some of the technology. You don't wanna miss it, so make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you get all the reminders. And again, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to that magic 1,000 subscribers, so please help me out by just hitting that subscribe button. All right, all the great goodies that come with the black appearance package start right up here at the front of the vehicle, and we're gonna start with the hood. Now this hood here came right out of the parts bin of the Ford F-150 Tremor. So you'll notice the power bulge in the middle where typically with your XLT, they bulge down. Uh, also, it's got the black vents on top, which is very rap Raptor-esque. And you'll see those on the Tremor as well. So this hood came straight off the Tremor. Uh, also on the front end, the front grill is also off the Tremor. So the only difference between this grill and your Tremor grill is the orange stripe that goes through the middle on this piece of trim here. So uh, otherwise it is very much the Tremor front end. Now also because I got the black appearance package, you've got the black badging with the Ford logo here. Having a 302A gets me the quad beam LEDs uh, with the blacked out bezels as well, which if you get the 301, black appearance package. This is actually, uh, from what I understand, it's still just a chrome uh, halogen light, and then the Lariat gets you the dual beam uh, intelligent headlights with the turning and all that. So my personal preference is I love the XLT's quad beam LEDs. Uh, also, because I did get a lot of the advanced technology in my truck, uh, I do have the 360 degree camera. So I've got a camera located up here and the front parking sensors on the bumper. Let's move on to the side. Now we'll start up front here. Uh, again, blacked out badging on the uh, fender vents here. So these are black, uh, piano black, as well as the F-150 logo, uh, all blacked out. Also, you'll notice the wheels. And what these are, these are the Ford F-150 Platinum wheels uh, in black. So black uh, painted, not a flat black, nice gloss black there. I did option the tow mirrors. So this is the, the folding, the manually folding and telescoping mirrors here. And that's something I did add extra. And also I put on the vent visors, which you can see here. Also, you've got black running boards. And one of the most expensive options that I picked is the $4,500 engine. Uh, this one here is the 3.5 liter power boost engine and I'll talk more about that as we go around. Um, but also true to the rest of the theme here, uh, the power boost is blacked out as well. Now onto the back here, more black badging. Your four x four here is black and gray, so it matches. The one huge disappointment with the power boost, I, I have to personally agree with a lot of the people that have complained. If you get the power boost, you get a single chrome tip exhaust. 
you know, I, I'd prefer a black tip, and, and I may try to swap it out at some point. We'll see. Um, you know, if you get the 3.5 liter EcoBoost without the power boost, you get black dual exhaust, which has the cutouts and is also another parts bin from the Tremor uh, and a really cool looking exhaust. But with the power boost, I'm stuck with a single chrome exhaust here. I also did add mud flaps front and rear because sometimes I go through some muddy areas and I want to keep my truck as nice as possible. Now on to the bed of the truck. Lots to talk about here and there's a lot of technology that's wrapped up in this truck that I'm not really going to cover in this video. I'm going to try to do some other videos. Um, but this one does have the, the remote tailgate release. So double click of the tailgate button on the key uh, lowers that. And then I do have the tailgate step. And with a tailgate step, you do get the, uh, the tailgate work surface as well, which has some cool things like the ruler on the bed, as well as a spot you can put your phone, a cup holder, uh, some pen holders, etc. cetera. Uh, also on the side of the tailgate, you do have the bottle opener slash tie down on both sides, which is pretty cool. And you do have the C-clamp holes here. So if you want to use the whole bed as a uh, workbench, you can do that. Now also optioned out on this truck, I did get the upgraded 7.2 kilowatt our um, onboard power so with that you do get a 30 amp you do get a 30 amp plug here as well as four 110 plugs which are great and they are protected by circuit breakers and all that and you put it in generator mode and again i'll go over that more in a, in a later video um, but you can power something as, as large as your house or a camper or something like that so tons of power uh, i do have the box links as well as the bed lighting system and i did go with the ford uh, tough bed spray and bed liner all right now one of the biggest surprises on this xlt is in the back seat so let's open the door and the really the biggest surprise on this entire truck is leather seats this is an xlt with leather so there's really not much separating this from a lariat and i priced out a lariat versus an xlt with comparable equipment and the difference was still another $4,000. So I decided that the XLT was all I really need. It's all I got now. And, you know, it's got the black XLT cloth. Uh, also back here, you've got 110 power as well as USB A and C and 12 volt power uh, back here. All right, now on to the, the driver's seat, the most important seat in the vehicle. Um, a lot of stuff that you'd expect from a 302 AXLT, like it's got the, uh, the keypad on the door, which I personally use a ton. Uh, it's something that you're getting on the newer 302 since 21 is smart key entry. So again, pull the door handle, it automatically unlocks with a key in your pocket. If you want to lock it, just push the lock button here and it locks it as you walk away. So. Now, once you get in the truck, that's where things get really exciting. Uh, there's so much technology here, and I really, I can make a three hour long video on this truck. I'm not gonna do that, um, but we're gonna kind of skim through some of the options that this one partic particular truck has. Uh, you got the BNO sound system, so I did get that. Uh, also, you've got your spotlights on the mirrors. Uh, you've got remote tailgate release here. On the power boost, something that's kind of unique, you do get a uh, fuel door release. You don't get that on any other, honestly, I can't really think of any other Fords currently that have the fuel door release. So it has that, of course, fog lights and all that. Um, power seats, they are heated as well. And we'll jump in and see how it is. All right, let's check this baby out. Let's fire it up. Now, as is typical with the power boost, uh, it doesn't just start the engine. Uh, it goes into electric mode first. Uh, you've got lots of stuff going on here. Uh, you've got a beautiful uh, screen behind the steering wheel. Uh, you've got the large 12 inch SYNC 4 touchscreen over here. Uh, you've got your four wheel drive down here as well as your drive modes. Um, 
so much stuff. So let's start over at the steering wheel. I do have automatic wipers. So I just set it to the level that I want it to be at. If it starts raining, it'll automatically turn on the wipers. So that is pretty cool. Uh, over here on the left side, I've got my uh, dynamic cruise control, so it can keep the gap between me and the car in front of me. It can also keep me in the lane. Not a full autopilot, but you know, just enough to kind of help you with some road fatigue. Um, as far as the black appearance package goes, the Ford logo on the steering wheel is blacked out. And lots of black. Like, it feels more black in here. I Honestly, I don't know that I've really had the opportunity to check out uh, enough of these F-150s, you know, with the inventory situations here, to know, you know, specifically exactly what was done on the interior. But it does feel a little bit darker, and it could be just, um, just a, kind of a, a psychological thing. But uh, you've got your trailer brake controller over here. Uh, drive modes. You've got the standard uh, F-150 drive mode, so tow haul, eco, sport, and then slippery, deep snow and sand, and mud and ruts. And then I do have a, um, a rear locking rear differential as well. So we're gonna put it back to normal. Uh, in the Sync 4 system, I, I love the new Sync 4, especially this version of it. Uh, with the landscape screen and, you know, the, the cards. Uh, you got wireless, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, which is so cool. Um, you know, just a lot of the things that I can't stand about my Sync 3 on my current truck, the Sync 4 really addresses, and uh, I look forward to using it quite a bit more. Satellite radio included for six months. It's already been uh, turned on. Of course, Bluetooth, uh, navigation, uh, I prefer Google Maps, and once I get my Android Auto in here, uh, that'll be set up, and I'll go over that some more as well. Uh, one of the cool things on this that I've I've learned, haven't really had much time to, to play with, uh, is it actually learns your driving habits as well to give you better point of interest and things like that. So uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to kind of experiencing some of that stuff. Uh, this does have Alexa, so I can, you know, hey Alexa, I haven't set it up yet, uh, but you can talk to it, you can control your home devices from it from what I'm understanding and all that so I definitely look forward to, to playing with that some more as well and I'll release some more videos as I get more familiar with that uh, apps uh, settings and again I could spend forever going over all the settings I'm not going to do that uh, features there are so many features uh, you can adjust your driver assistance stuff of course your owner's manuals in here uh, your pro power on board so from here you can control. Now there's two tiers of Pro Power on board, and this really gives you the ability uh, in the screen here to, to switch between the two, what they call low power and high power. You also have the ability from your phone to do that through the Ford Pass app as well. So you don't have to be in the vehicle to turn this on or to activate it, monitor it, etc. So cool stuff, and again, I will spend more time on that in later videos. Um, Going back to my hybrid driving days, uh, back when I worked at Toyota, you've got your your uh, power flow where it shows you what's going on right now. So right now the gas engine is charging my batteries um, as we idle here. Towing stuff, there's so much towing stuff. Zone lighting is something I find incredibly awesome. I can't wait to use this when I'm out camping. Uh, you have the ability to turn on lights around the whole truck and they are super bright and that also can be controlled from your phone with the Ford Pass app. So all really cool there. Uh, now also, so you get, notice the cards over on to the right side. There are lots of different cards you can put in here. You got Eco, Fuel Economy. Um, you can have your trips in here, uh, navigation, phone. So say I have navigation on the right. So over on the left, I've got my music on the right. On the right side, I've got my navigation. Now, say you want to use the navigation as your main screen. You can actually switch them by just taking it and dragging. So very much like a tablet, and now the radio is on the right, and the navigation is giving me the big screen. And if you want, you can also expand it to where the navigation takes up the whole thing. So really cool, very intuitive, very much like a tablet, where the other one was a lot more like a, a factory manufacturer automotive radio which is 
not always the most fun to use. Uh, down here you've got your radio controls with some hard buttons. You've got your dual zone automatic climate controls. Which you've got your heated seats uh, left and right, as well as some other climate controls. Uh, on the newer vehicles, they've added different tiers of auto. So if you don't like having it just blast you right off the, the bat with the fans, you can control uh, how aggressive you want the automatic to be, which is pretty cool. Uh, the, over this over here, this is the breaker for the for the 120 volt uh, system, and then you've got a one 120 volt here. Uh, I did get the interior work surface. I tend to eat lunch in my truck. Please don't hate me for that. Um, but to be able to fold that over and give me a nice surface to do that, uh, write papers, whatever. Um, also inside, uh, I do have the console vault, which I use that for for some other things. Um, you know, I, I want to make sure I keep it nice and secure. Uh, you don't have to get the console vault. It is a locking center console as well. So you can kind of keep your, your private things private, uh, especially if you live in a bad neighborhood where maybe... Uh, car break-ins are a, a common. So there you have it, the 2022 Ford F-150 XLT with the black appearance package. A very special truck to me because it's one that I personally spec'd out and ordered. Uh, hopefully I've gone over enough of the truck to let you know why it's almost $70,000. Sticker on this is just over $67,000. Uh, the high MSRP or the base the residual on a lease is 69,000. I think it's worth it, but again, that's just me. Uh, trucks are definitely going up in price. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like my channel, and ring the little bell. If you made it this far, it sounds like you, you obviously like what you see. I got lots more videos. I'm also on Facebook, James at Burdick Ford. Until next time, see you later.